fucking All right, all right. Uh, well, what do we have planned today, Miguel? Today we are going to roll the fender. Roll the fenders on the car. As Miguel struggles to push the car. <laughs> now, you may be asking yourself, do we know how to do this? No, this thing came apart. No instructions. I figured it out myself. So, what you basically do is you take off your wheel, disconnect to your hub, and then you adjust this to how you're going to roll the fender. Now, obviously, you don't want to go off and right away start with so with the point, this is the point you're gonna end up with. You obviously gonna want to start with something light. You know, start rolling the fender. You're gonna use a heat gun to heat up around the fender right here, so that way when you're rolling the fenders, you don't crack the paint or, or you know, just damage the paint in general. All right, obviously you're gonna want to jack up your car. So we got David, the the jack stand master. You wanna basically grab your jack stands, put them to decent height, you know. Now, uh, how will David break the lug nuts now that the wheel's in the air? It's easier. Easy work? It's worth I said make sure you break the lug before you raise the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, jack up the car again then. Anyway, so I asked Miguel, so how are you supposed to roll the fenders if it's like this? Shouldn't it shouldn't this part be facing the opposite way so it can go this way? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but then he uh, explained it to me a little bit better and it's gonna go uh, horizontally as is um well, that made a little bit more sense so uh let, let, let's see how we do this. Now that uh, both the tires are off, uh, we're gonna basically, well, I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, basically have this on, which is pretty simple. This would be just to adjust the height, uh, this to tighten it, and again, uh, this will go on the hub. I believe, if I'm doing this correctly, which I'm not doing this correctly, Of figuring it out. Put it how I want it. Okay. Cool. Let's pop it in like this. Pop it in like this. Huh. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need this. Okay, so a few moments later. God damn. <laughs> God damn. I said the same thing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since the car is so low to the ground, we basically can't roll the fenders with how it is right now just because it's this is so up so what i'm going to have to end up doing is take apart where, it can, where the suspension connects to the knuckles so that way this can drop down and i can actually roll the fenders because if i try to stick it on right here the roller is like all the way in here and i won't be able to actually roll the fenders we were able to make it work we were actually uh I so we took out both uh the bolt and the nut and as you can see it dropped more so that gave the the roller a good enough space to actually fit in and we can actually finally roll the fenders so yeah guys so you want to hit the fender where you're going to start rolling and then once you have the side nice and hot you can start rolling now don't don't start off right where you want to end so start off in a good section uh, roll nice and even and then you'll start noticing a difference on the fender. So we're gonna make it nice and flat. Actually, 
show you guys. So over here, on this side, we actually have somewhere to actually grab onto. So there is, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but there's like this little like lip. So now, when you roll your fenders, rolling them, basically you make it flat. So now there is nothing, so that when the wheel is traveling, it doesn't like rub anymore. Just roll, see how this part right here is? We just gotta finish rolling this right here like that, and it will be solid. And, and then, then we'll move. Hit, we'll hit the other side. We roll the rears because the rear is um that's the most yeah that that one's the one that's the most like it, it, it rubs really bad it was cutting into my tires so that's what we gotta do right there and probably adjust the coat over from that side because that side that's the the driver's side is higher than this side so we have to adjust that get a high yeah and like i said guys just make sure to not heat up this one section one one, one thing I noticed, and this this is something we learned, when the, you would slowly learn to uh, add, add tension to it due to this. Like if it, for example, it's rolling back and forth, meaning there's tension so it's moving. By the time you see it not rolling anymore, that's when you wanna, okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh, I'm gonna adjust the top. Cause you just want a little bit, cause we tried it out where Miguel put it too high and it just, wasn't rolling anything and we put it too low and you know we're too soft and yeah dude that's so nice it's so toasty so now we're gonna start rolling this side well David just want to go do something for work so I'm going to be rolling this fender now um, we already got the other side done so now it's time for this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a nice and flush with the body Uh, we already completed the front already and uh, this side just a little bit lower but I think it's just because the car is tilting a little bit more to the passenger side and sorry again heaters on uh, it already got a little bit cold outside so I have the heater on so now we're gonna start uh, rolling the rear okay so we already rolled the fenders on both sides and it's looking pretty good so now I already took up the color from the driver's side. So now we're gonna take off the other one from the other side and then we'll uh, put the height to the to the correct size on both. Going based on how big the gap is right here, I'm gonna match it to this uh, match this gap to this gap right here. So we're gonna size them up, put them on the car, and the, the battery from the car is dead. So we're gonna have to push start it. So we already got the coil over nice and, and put to the right height. Sandy just arrived too. Wow. Hello. So I put the passenger side on. So, fender rolled, fender rolled, other fender is rolled, and the rear is to the right height. So now all we have to do is push start the car and uh, take it around the block and see if it. Um, if anywhere, if it's still rubbed or anything, if it rubs in the back, we'll just jack it up, add a little bit more height. The front, there's not really much I can do until I can adjust the height on both of them because one of the coilovers is seized. Um, other than that, we are pretty much done with this car. All right, we got both front and rear ready for the correct height. So now, Jonathan, Owner of BMW, owner of Suzuki, dad and dubbing father of Lilo. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's there hiding. He's like, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> All right. So now, the, since the car is dead and we have to push start it. My 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 back lights. Yeah, you got my screws. My car. Okay. All right. We're gonna go this way so you can get on the main street. Okay. Okay.
push, guys, push. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, yeah. All right, once we get on the main street, turn right. You don't know how to push, sir? No. Okay, <laughs> put the clutch in and put it in first gear and hold it. All right, you're gonna have to turn right. All right, turn right, turn right. Keep on going, keep on keep fucking going. Johnny! 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 Ah, fuck the car! All right, all right, once it, once it parks, Leave the clutch in, and once I tell you go, you're gonna let go of the clutch. Are you gonna do that shit? You done it. Faster! 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 Alright, go! Fuck! Alright, one more try. Ready? Alright, ready? Go! Fucking low life. Fuck! Oh. Go, go, go! I heard it, Johnny! Go! Take it to the garage. Good job, good job, good job. Johnny saying that he knew how to push out a car. Turns out halfway mid street. He don't know how to do that. <laughs> halfway, we're pushing the car, and he's like, "Wait, how do you push start?" <laughs> Already halfway in the middle of the street. <laughs> Literally. Where does it rub? It's on the front. From which one? Uh, Only this one? Yeah. The other one doesn't rub? Nah. I mean, like, it depends on little turns, but I don't know for some reason. I uh, I think it's just the bumper. That's. I don't know. I don't know. This is after uh, I went over the speed bump. <laughs> and I think I, uh, I hit the bumper or some shit. Oh yeah, because you went, you went through the alley from over here. This fucking yeah. side is nasty. Okay. Oh, David guy, look at him. He went straight forward. If you stall, we gotta push the car again. And this time we'll, you'll push it with hey, all of so the... Hey, Sam, just grab it, man. I'm gonna add it on be John. Oh, so you, you cut that off? Yeah, I cut yeah. that off. Cause it was it was way closer than that. 
Alright, so then this. Let's uh, cut that off. Okay. Time out. Time out. Alright, homies. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys do like the video, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, well, we'll catch you guys. Peace, homies.